Often, individuals need to construct a vision of the future. Leaders might need to develop a vision of their company, stipulating the aspirations they want the firm to achieve. Prime Ministers should, but seldom, develop a vision for the nation. Individuals might even develop a vision for themselves, a set of aspirations they plan to accomplish. To illustrate the vision, the vision of psychology at Charles Darwin University could be to develop courses that help students become as resilient, intuitive, empathic and intelligent as possible by using the latest resources and providing challenging experiences. A vision can greatly motivate effort and persistence in other people. Now, many leaders and managers construct a vision of the future, but few of these individuals know how to construct an effective vision, a vision that really inspires motivation and determination. So how can leaders construct an effective vision? That is, what are the features of an effective vision? Well, first, an effective vision needs to be unique. The vision of the company should be distinct from the vision of their rivals. Now, this feature might seem obvious, but actually, the vision of many companies, such as football clubs, are often very similar. So why should the vision be unique? Well, the answer can be ascribed to an intriguing theory called optimal distinctiveness. According to this theory, people experience two fundamental but conflicting needs. First, they need to feel they belong to a community or group. And to fulfill this need, they often want to strive to be similar to other members of this community or group. But second, people like to feel distinct or different to other people, conflicting with the attempt to be similar to other members. So how can people reconcile these two conflicting needs, this need to belong and this need to be distinct? Well, one approach is to belong to a unique, distinct or even revolutionary group. If they belong to a unique, distinct and revolutionary group, their need to belong is fulfilled. Yet because this group is unique, distinct and revolutionary, their need to feel distinct is also fulfilled to some extent. And this theory might explain why some people gravitate to extremist groups. Second, an effective vision should align with recent progress or achievements. If a company has recently been awarded a prize, because of the innovations in technology, their vision should also allude to technology. Now this feature might also seem obvious, but when CEOs construct a vision, they often want to diverge from the past. In essence, they want to start afresh. So why should the vision extend or align to recent progress or achievements? Well, people are more likely to feel committed to some pursuit, such as the vision of a company, if they feel progress has been forged. To illustrate, in one study, participants received a coffee loyalty card. If they bought eight cups of coffee, they would receive the ninth cup for free. Now, for half the participants, the card depicted eight coffee symbols. The symbol would then be stamped whenever the participants bought one cup of coffee. For the other participants, the card actually depicted ten rather than eight coffee symbols. But supposedly, they were told because of some special offer, the first two symbols had already been stamped. So the participants felt they'd forged progress. So in other words, in both conditions, participants needed to purchase eight cups of coffee to receive a free cup. But in the second condition, participants felt the progress had been forged. And it's only those participants who were more likely to utilize the loyalty card. Third, an effective vision should also align to the previous values or priorities of the organisation. If people feel the values they need to pursue tend to shift, but they're not really sure which goals they'll prioritise in the future. So they're not as connected to the future. They're not as willing to sacrifice their pleasure now to pursue their future goals. And so they become more impulsive and short-centred rather than responsible and future-oriented. Finally, an effective vision should solve several problems at the same time. That is, organisers should identify their key challenges. And the vision should somehow entail an innovative approach to solving these key challenges.